Hello and welcome to Overdrive. This is Rohit Paratkar. We are at the 2020 Auto Expo and right now at the MG exhibit. And this big red vehicle that you see here should remind you of the Volvo S60 Cross Country. This is a bit of a coupe, a sedan, a crossover, all mixed in together. This is called the Baojun RC6. It's here with the MG badging and that is exactly what could happen to it in 2021. It could come to India as MG's fourth product line for the Indian market. The face it's in line with MG's current design philosophy. The grille looks imposing. It's got that diamond grille effect. All of that looks nice. It's got that big MG logo right at the center of it. It's a very sharp design right at the front. And if you look towards the side, if you look at the tail, it's got that nice coupe-ish roof line. And then you have the cladding on the sides, which essentially is the crossover design theme. So like I said, this is a mix of a sedan, a coupe, a crossover, all of that rolled into one. The tail is the most beautiful angle for this car. Let's look at it the moment the door closes and the lady moves. Well, there you go. That sloping roof line is what is the defining design element of this car. So let's move back a little bit and look at that tail. Looks quite beautiful. And that, like I said, is going to be the best angle to view this car from. Let's take a closer look at the taillight design. Looks nice and sleek, looks quite sporty. And this is a left-hand drive variant. Let me quickly show you what the cabin is like. A bit of Mercedes-Benz E-Class inspiration in there. Two screens, one for the infotainment, one for the instrumentation. And then you have these orange accents in the dashboard. Well, let's take a closer look. A flat bottom steering wheel. Switches that have a very nice tactile feel to it. The materials feel quite nice. There is a panoramic sunroof. And the space at the back, well, actually quite good. So if this does come to India, and in all likelihood it will, it will take on the likes of the Honda Civic, the Hyundai Elantra, the Skoda Octavia, the Toyota Corolla, and all of that. I'm also going to show you the boot. It's a notchback and that is what the boot space looks like. So literally we are taking so backs. Grand touring, no problem at all. It's got a decently high ground clearance. I don't have the exact figure with me, I'm sorry about that. It's got a decently high ground clearance. Eight and inch alloys. These are 55 profile tires and they should make for a decently good ride quality. I think if MG does consider it for India, they might go with their favorite seven and inch option. But clearly, this is a very handsome looking vehicle, the RC6. It is a part of SAIC's big lineup of vehicles. Like I said, this is the Baojun RC6. And if it comes to India, this is how the face will look like. It's something to look forward to, I believe. What do you think? Do you think this kind of a mixed body style, a coupe, a sedan, a crossover, all of that rolled into one will really work or not? Is something that I would like to know from you. Does it make sense for, an Indian, for the Indian market? Or should MG just stick to SUVs? Let us know in the comment section below. If there's anything else that you would like to know about this vehicle that we've not covered, then ask those questions in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. As far as the powertrains are concerned, well, under the hood is a 1.5 liter hybrid system. It puts out about 150 PS of power, if I'm not wrong. Let's see if we have the specs here. Well, there you go. There's a 1.5 turbo petrol, 250 newton meters of torque, 108 kilowatts of power. It's made it to a six-speed manual. 
and I'm also told there is an eight speed or eight step CVT that is available as an option and those are the features. Well, it is an internet car, of course. Connected tech is at the heart of everything that MG does and this car also has the connected technologies. You already saw the screens inside. The iSmart 2.5 or maybe even a newer version of that will make it to this car if it comes to India. So like I said, do let me know what you think about it. Is it something that we can look forward to or should just MG just stick to SUVs and electric vehicles? I'm eager to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. This is Rohit Paradkar signing off for Overdrive.